What is up everybody? JT Dangerous here once again. I am back to do my New Japan Pro Wrestling Sengoku Lord in Nagoya 2020 predictions. Now Sengoku Lord in Nagoya happens next Saturday morning live on NewJapanWorld.com from the Aichi Perfectional Gymnasium in Nagoya, Japan. Now this card for this year, Sengoku Lord in Nagoya, is stacked from top to bottom. We have seven big matches with three big titles on the line, so I am extremely excited to do my Sengoku Lord in Nagoya predictions for you guys this year, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Now, if you guys haven't checked out my New Japan Pro Wrestling's New, J New Japan Road predictions yet, definitely go check it out if you haven't. This is the second video of the day. So, I hope you guys will be able to watch this video and all the big videos that I put up on the channel. As always, show your support on our channel as always, guys, by watching these videos, super kicking those like buttons, hitting that notification bell, commenting your picks, and your opinions in the comment sections down below. Now, if this is your first time watching my channel today, guys, as a first time viewer, this is your first video. Boy, pick the go in if you're a huge fan of New Japan Pro Wrestling like myself, and you're ready for this year's Sengoku Lord in Nagoya. Welcome to the Dangerous Alliance. I'm JT Dangerously. Welcome to the club. This club is. Just, just. Two. Again, thank you guys so very much. Now, other than that, let's get right into these predictions. Let's start off with the first matchup. It is a one on one showdown on one side. He is representing the Young Lions of New Japan Pro Wrestling. He is Yuya Yunomura. And his opponent is representing the cutthroat era of. And he is a former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, a former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion, and if you know his music, You'll know who I'm talking about. He is Bone Soldier, Taiji Ishimori. So coming from me in this one-on-one -on -one showdown, I will say this. I think Taiji Ishimori is the biggest threat to Hiromu Takahashi's IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship this year. I think if they ever have a one-on-one -on -one match, I think Ishimori is going to be the one person that can actually beat Hiromu. So coming from me, I am going to go with Bone Soldier himself, Taiji Ishimori, to defeat Yuya Yunomura by any means. And now the next matchup. It is an eight-man tag team battle. On one side, you have the team of Strong Arm Kojima, the master of the Kokeshi, Tomoaki Homba, the unchained gorilla, Togi Makabe, and the captain of the team, the former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. He is Captain Ryusuke Toguchi. And their opponents. First, he is representing the LA Dojo. He is Gabriel Kidd. Next, representing the, long, the Young Lions of New Japan Pro Wrestling, excuse me, Yotosuji. Next, he is the Sublime Master Thief, representing Chaos. He is Toriyanu. And, and finally, you have the former five-time Never Openweight Champion, the Stone Pitbull, Tomuro Ishii, or Gola. So coming from me in this eight-man tag team battle... I'm going to go with the team of Satoshi Kojima, Tomoaki Homba, Togi Makabe, and Captain Ryusuke Taguchi to defeat the team of Gabriel Kidd, Yotosuji, Toriyanu, and Tomohiro Ishii by any means. And now the next matchup. It is a six-man tag team battle on one side. They are all representing chaos, consisting of headhunter himself, Yoshihashi, one half of the reigning IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, one half of Rapungi 3K Show, and the former four-time Never Openweight Champion, the Fierce Warrior Hiroki Goto. And their opponents are all representing Los Ingobernables de Apon, consisting of M. X. Bushi, Cold Skull Sonata, and the leader of Los Ingobernables de Apon, and the former IWGP Heavyweight and IWGP Intercontinental Champion. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. Ooh, Naito! He is Tetsuya Naito. So coming from me in this six-man tag team battle between Chaos and Los Ingobernables de Apon, 
I'm going to go with the LAJ squad of Bushi, Sanada, and Tetsuya Naito to defeat the Chaos squad of Sho, Yoshihashi, and Hiroki Goto by any means. And now the next matchup. It is a 10-man tag team battle on one side. You have the team of Master Wato, Tenzan, Blue Justice, Yuji Nagata, and the former IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions consisting of the man who held the IWGP Heavyweight title a record setting eight times. He is indeed still the ace of the universe, and if you know his music, his old music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is Hiroshi Tanahashi, and his partner is the only man in New Japan Pro Wrestling history to win the New Japan Cup, Best of Super Juniors Tournament, and the G1. He is the former IWGP Intercontinental Champion and one half of the Golden Lovers, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about, and he is Kane Gaming's favorite wrestler. He is Golden Star, Ibushi Kota, and they are the Golden Aces. And their opponents are all representing Suzuki Gun, Ichiban, consisting of Doki, the heel master himself, Yoshinobu Kanemaru, the leader of Suzuki Gun, Minoru Suzuki, and the new IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, consisting of the former Never Open Weight Champion, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is Lord Taichi, and his partner is the former Rev Pro British Heavyweight Champion, and in my opinion, the best technical wrestler in the world today. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is Zack Sabre Jr. and they are Dangerous Techers. So coming from me in this wild 10-man tag team showdown, I'm going to go with the team of Master Wato, Tenzan, Nagata, and the Golden Aces to defeat the Suzuki Gun Squad of Doki, Yoshinobu Kanemaru, Minoru Suzuki, and Dangerous Techers by any means. And now the next matchup. It is a special singles grudge match on one side. He is representing the cutthroat era of... And he's looking to get his biggest win of his 2020 career. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is the Tokyo Pimps, Yujiro Takahashi, and his opponent is the leader of chaos, and he is the former 
five-time IWGP Heavyweight Champion, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada. Now this is only the third one-on-one -on -one meeting between Yujiro Takahashi and Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada. Okada has won the last two meetings against the Tokyo Pimps, uh, victories in the G1 Climax 24 and their last meeting back five years ago in the G1 Climax 25 tournament. So Yujiro is looking to finally beat Okada for the very first time. Now this matchup is very personal because for Yujiro Takahashi, he's a chance to prove himself. I mean, yes, he is part of Bullet Club, but he's not like one of the main guys of Bullet Club. He's there for like uh, six-man tags and junior tag league partner. This is a big matchup for Yujiro, and it's the fact that uh, uh, Yujiro was part of Chaos. If you guys don't know, he was part of Chaos back in 2010. But then on May in May of 2014, he defected from Chaos and joined Bullet Club in helping AJ Styles defeat Kazuchika Okada for the IWGP heavyweight title. So this, this rivalry is very deep and Yujiro is looking to prove that he can beat Okada and he's looking to show that looking to show Bullet Club that he is a threat. The other side you have Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada looking to rebound and bounce back after his loss in the New Japan Cup final to Evil thanks to Bullet Club, especially Yujiro Takahashi and the fact that um, Okada had a chance to win that matchup, and if it wasn't for Bullet Club, he would have won his. He would have won back to back and had a shot at, against Naito at Dominion, other than Evil. But Evil did win that, but it was thanks to Bullet Club. But Okada has to get back on track because right now he's on the outside looking in, and he wants to get back into that world title picture as soon as possible. So coming from me in this one-on-one -on -one grudge match between members of Bullet Club and Chaos. <sighs> I can see Yujiro giving Okada some fits if if he has any backup with him like Jado or Ge or Gato. I can see definitely that's gonna it's gonna give Yujiro a little bit of an advantage. But coming from me, I am gonna go with Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada to rebound and bounce back and defeat the Tokyo Pimps Yujiro Takahashi by any means. And now the next matchup, and this matchup I'm very excited for because it is for the Never Open Weight Championship. Starting off with. The challenger. He is representing Suzuki Gun Ichiban, and he is a former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion, and now he's looking to become the next Never Open Weight Champion. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is the rogue luchador El Desperado, and El Desperado is challenging the 29th and reigning and defending IWGP Never Open Weight Champion. He is also one third of the Never Six Man Tag Team Champions. He is representing Los Ingobernables de Apone, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is the Dragon, Shingo Takagi. Now, this matchup, I have a funny feeling, could steal the show. Now, starting off with El Desperado first, this is a big opportunity for him. A chance to win his first singles title in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And here's a crazy dangerous fact. The last time El Desperado was in a singles titles match was 2018 when he was challenging then IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion 
Hiromu Takahashi at Kuzuna Road. So El Desperado's been waiting two years for a, sing a shot at any singles title, and this is a big opportunity for him. And if you think he has, he's a bit of an underdog in this matchup, go watch his matchup with Tomohiro Ishii in the first round of the New Japan Cup this year. He gave Ishii some fits, and he's definitely going to look to give some fits to the, the reigning champion. There is idea of Shingo Takagi looking to continue his reign as a never open weight champion, and he's looking to continue, and he's looking to make looking to make it his third successful title defense. Now the last time we saw Shingo defend this belt was at Dominion against Sho in another classic with those two, but it was after the match that that made people talk because it was El Desperado who attacked Shingo from behind after that war and took the never open weight title. And you know when you make the dragon angry he's gonna be breathing fire and Shingo is no joke. So coming from me in this huge matchup for the never open weight title Oh man, this one's going to be good. This one's going to be really good. And I definitely can see Despr Desperado giving Shingo a fight. But coming from me, I am going to go with the Dragon Shingo Takagi to retain the Never Open Weight title by any means and defeat El Desperado in a banger. And now, the main event. The main event that everybody's been waiting for. It is for the IWGP Heavyweight and IWGP Intercontinental Championship. Starting off with the challenger. He is representing Los in Gobernables de Alpone, And he is the reigning three-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. And he's looking to become the next IWGP Heavyweight and IWGP Intercontinental Champion. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Ticking time bomb, Hiromu Takahashi. And Hiromu Takahashi is challenging the 71st and reigning and defending and new IWGP heavyweight champion. And he is also the 25th and reigning and defending and new IWGP Intercontinental champion. He is the newest member of the cutthroat era of... He'll be accompanied by his manager, Dick Togo. He is king of darkness, evil, because this is evil. Everything is evil. Subadewa. All of it. And everything is evil, and it's just too sweet. Now, this matchup is on everybody's mind. It's the matchup a lot of people did not see, would ever see in, in a million years. I mean, it, these two were best of friends in Los Ingobernables de Alpone. And then one no, new, new Japan Cup final night when Evil turned and left LIJ to join Bullet Club. And then we all saw what happened at Dominion in Osaka Joe Hall. Evil beating Tetsuya Naito, ending Naito's title run. Uh, at Dominion, once again, Dominion is Naito's kryptonite, and with the help of Dick Togo. Now, if you guys don't know who Dick Togo is, he was part of the original Kai and Tai back in the WWF days, and he's also a former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion with Taka Michinoku. But the fact that Evil turned on Naito in, in the New Japan Cup Final, and then beat Naito in Osaka Joe to win both titles, this and and Hiromu was and he even said in the comment in the backstage thing that he came into Los Angeles Gobernables de Alpone to be with Evil and Naito and now Evil has gone his separate ways and Hiromu cannot handle it. We saw him going crazy and this is an opportunity for him to to regain the titles for LIJ. He's already the junior heavyweight champion, but he wants to have more, molto, molto more. Now on the other side, you have Evil looking to start his first reign as the IWGP heavyweight and his first reign as the IWGP intercontinental champion. And he's looking to make sure that his darkness spreads throughout the world, and especially now with Bullet Club. And the fact that they got Evil, they got Evil to go to Bullet Club and bring the IWGP Heavyweight Intercontinental Titles back to the club is big. And I know a lot of people were pissed that he left uh, he left LIJ to go to Bullet Club, 
But again, he was always known as a tag team wrestler in LIJ. He only had one reign with the Never Open Weight title that only spanned eight days. So if anyone deserved to be IWGP Heavyweight and Intercontinental Champion, it was evil. I know a lot of people would say Ishii deserved it, uh, Ishi, uh, Ibushi deserved it uh, uh, more than evil and Ishii and Goto, but evil definitely busted his ass since 2015 to get this, uh, to have this moment. And We've seen that. We, if you have not seen the look of evil in a Bullet Club, it's amazing. His theme music is very Castlevania-esque. His attire is very Taker or Sephiroth from Final Fantasy. Very unique. And the fact that he has Dick Togo, who helped him beat Naito and, and Osaka Joe Hall. This, this is a very interesting pairing. Dick Togo's a legend in the wrestling business in Japan. And now with him and Gato managing uh, him and Gato like managing two of the top stars in Bullet Club, Bullet Club is definitely going up. And this is a big match. And he, and Evil's looking to, as he said in the press conference, he's looking to see if Hiromu's neck can handle his offense. So coming from me, in this huge main event matchup for both the IWGP Heavyweight and Intercontinental Championship, it's the ticking time bomb versus, the, uh, uh, versus King of Darkness Evil. It's the... It's the D and the time bomb versus everything is evil. And all of his by any means tactics. This one's tough. Because I like Hiromu Takahashi. But honestly, I don't know why. If this was for the IC title and not the heavyweight title, I would say Hiromu had a great chance of winning this match. But being it's a double title match, his chances are slim to none. So coming from me, I'm going to go with King of Darkness Evil to retain the IWGP Heavyweight and Intercontinental Championship by any means and defeat ticking time bomb Hiromu Takahashi. And those are my New Japan Pro Wrestling Sengoku Lord of Nagoya 2020 predictions. Now I want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Comment below, who do you see walking out the IWGP Heavyweight and Intercontinental Champion between Hiromu Takahashi and Evil? Who do you see winning the Never Openweight title between El Desperado and Shingo Takagi? And who do you see winning that grudge match between Yujiro Takahashi and Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada? Let me know all of your picks and your opinions in the comment section. Let's have a conversation about it. Of course, I'm always on to see your comment. Like it and of course, reply right back to me because comments are absolutely Absolutely, always welcome on this channel. And I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching both of these videos I put up on the channel today. Again, thank you guys for all the support. Now, before you guys go, as always, you guys can never forget to do this. That like button, comment, share with your friends, of course, super kick, that like button like only you guys can. Of course, you guys can never forget to do this as well. That subscribe button to become part of this bigger and dangerous, dangerous alliance. And I will see you guys later for my next big video. Later days, guys. Stay safe and peace.